Hello there and welcome back again to Hollow Knight. So, we've been yeah, a lot of attempts at the Fool's Challenge. But so far, no luck completing it, so... Well, yeah, I think we'll continue to leave that at rest for a little while. What did I... Ah, oh, right, this was... That... Person, dingies, dingy mabob, the nail master, that's what he was called. Trying to do that new. Mm. I'm not sure how useful that actually is. Like, it's a really tricky input to perform, like, that's the biggest problem with it. Well, yeah, some of these moves are really nice, but, yeah, I think the biggest reason I haven't been using them is, yeah, they're just pretty finicky input-wise. Maybe if I can master them a bit better, that will help me in the challenge. I'm just not sure to what extent I can really be bothered trying to master them. Okay, so there's an area off to the right here. I haven't been alright, that was blocked by one of those. Yeah, those thingy my bobs, whatever. Um, so maybe I can try and get that. Wait, didn't I already do that root thing? Maybe not. Maybe it comes back after a while, I don't know. I still don't get that enemy. Like, is its only danger meant to be that it's big or what? with me, you damn thing. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, I did one of these in another place in this area. It wasn't here, so that's all good. I 
See that one there. up the top here. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot they fire at a few angles. Ah, uh, that's just a dead one of those monsters. <laughs> and I think you can only actually donk them without being hit from below. Sets. Uh, I mean, I assume it probably can't reset it, or at least won't because of it being like kept as a kind of global counter that's now been increased by this point. I don't know really. Yeah, most of them don't want to say or do anything. So if I'm not finding anything, yeah, there we go. I hadn't gone up far enough. And that was the last one. Mm, how much essence does that just put me right now? I think that was the amount I needed. Um, is there any obvious way but uh, what I'm wondering right now is how the heck do I get to those caterpillars it could theoretically be from anywhere along that bottom there but I'm going to go with the assumption it's somewhere on the left and that it's a more, more or less horizontal progression across all of that area simply because like I figure if there were multiple entrances into it, I'd probably have picked up on at least one of them. I could be like overestimating myself here, but that's what I instinctively think. Like, not out of the question that I'd have missed some of them, but I would have probably at least picked up one, so. Now, of course, after saying that, I'll probably, while I'm on my way to go investigate it, I'll spot something now. <laughs> There we go. Anything <laughs> down here? There's clearly more to this place. 
but it could just be that there's another entrance. Okay, so that does change my guess about how this works. So I think I do have to go along this way and look for more entrances. Also, I'm just assuming there isn't going to be like something later that lets me dive in water. I haven't really seen anything like other than just deep water existing in general, which can easily be a cosmetic thing. That would lead me to believe that. Okay, so I can expect probably somewhere along here there's going to be a way down. Thought I saw some ground moving here, but no, I think that's just a result of the camera animation in that and the kind of parallax effect. somewhere along here though. Unless it's kind of that it is a horizontal thing but from this side further. To be fair like they could easily have hid something behind one of these st big stompy guys. I don't think I'd have even thought to check for it while dealing with those. so far. Would they hide it here? I think there's our answer to that question. Was, does this go even further or am I looking for a path to the side now? There it goes a bit further that way but I think I need to go get this scope. Actually no, I'll need to come back here to get out of this place anyway so I might as well keep going ahead for now. room. I suppose the proper way to handle this is to jump out to the side maybe. Okay, fully healed up. Fully donked down there. And of course. another way to go this way. Ah, that was how I get to that caterpillar. Duh. 
That was an absolute duck move there. through here there we go the ones seem to have slightly different AI from usual because I don't think I've seen any of the other ones retreat like that back to the air so I think that answers that one. Oh what's this? Oh that could be useful. Yeah but what do I throw away for it? And I can throw away a compass like while I'm in the arena or whatever in the gathering swing. Well, specifically in the arena there's stuff I can give up for it, maybe not just while playing in general. Okay, so that means there is still one more part where I can get down to the floor somehow. Or I should really say somewhere. I don't know exactly how it's done. I don't know, being too quick to rule out the possibility of like a secret inside a secret scenario here. and updating the map might shed some light on this. Wouldn't be the first time that it has, so... Destroyable wall, so I don't think it's too likely that that's what's at play here. So I'm thinking it's probably is indeed a secret within a secret. Really 
let's see what the map says when it's updated. Hmm, nothing that really hints it that it could be that. I mean, that obviously doesn't rule it out, but... Well, that was lucky timing, slash positioning. Let's go back in here and have a bit of an explore, just in case. I mean, actually, yeah, because you can see the side of that area here. Yeah, it's not at all that strange to think there might be a way into it nearby here. Mm. Oh, I think about it, wasn't there somewhere that I yeah, fell down? go back in from the other side if I want to explore that. So, I mean, yes, they haven't reached, I mean, keep an eye on that too, just in case it's like, no matter that there is a way in from the side. doesn't look like it but oh wait no that was just this area where that treasure was fuck ah, did not want to fall down there okay so there's nothing in that side area so mean there's something in another side area because there's I'm pretty sure at this point I can eliminate there being anything in the main part here I also need to recover I'm going to get something right, right near the edge here see signs of anything going on here. something in here that I'm missing. No, none of this ground's creaky or anything. But there clearly is something off to the side here. So there's another entrance either to the right or below. Who had that like maybe it comes up from on the left. I think, yeah, coming up from on the left is the most plausible theory at this point. Especially given that, like, that's where there's a lot more of these monsters as well. like I could come in from the side here. Yeah, like you can even see the side a bit here. Just 
matter where's the entrance. It would seem that it would have to be off here. And it was just me or is it? No, I think it was just my imagination that looked oh no. Yes, there we go. Yeah, that all looked a bit suspicious. I'm glad I was persistent on it there. And I am in the hive. Yeah, well this is going to be interesting. You see this most likely being, yeah, this is how I get to that other caterpillar. see there being a like giant ass bee as a boss in here. That's an interesting monster. Awesome, a bench. Probably about time to use one as well, actually. So, we'll take a look at the map. Yeah, oh wow, this is going to be a huge area. It's not just a few extra rooms. Right. Well, thanks for watching anyway, and I'll see you next time.